Our first glimpse at the custom game browser in the Master Chief Collection. What kind of options will we have in it? And also how your user generated content will be transferred in November. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news and informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it lets me know you wanna see some more content like this. If you wanna stay in the loop with everything happening in Halo, MCC, and Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe to the channel guys. So let's get right into the content here. So as we do every Friday, we get a little bit of a MCC development update. Just kinda of let us know the recent happenings and what's going on with the game. And this one, we got some new stuff to show off with you guys, mainly the custom game browser. It's so cool to see this feature finally starting to get some development time and hopefully be implemented into the MCC rather soon. This is something that 343 has known that people wanted in the MCC since 2018. I made a video on it back then. So in this video we're going to break down everything they talked about the custom game browser, the screenshots that they provided of these mockups of the custom game browser, when can we expect this to be in the MCC for flighting, and also a little bit about your user generated content in the MCC being transferred over in November. So let's get right into it. Now, I also do want to preface these screenshots. They're actually just mock-ups of what we can expect for the custom game browser. This isn't the actual custom game browser itself, just because they mentioned in this dev update how it's not functional or in the game at this moment. But here you can kind of see the general flow of how the menu experience should be. So under the multiplayer tab, you can see where the custom game browser should be sitting underneath as well. You have quick match, browse, filter, and also create. Create quick match will just throw you into whatever's available at that time. Now you have the browse feature, which is an option, will open up a new sub menu, allowing you to view the current custom games available based on your filter selections and preferences. And with that filter option, you can probably assume it's where you do your filtering for your browsing as well. So you can kind of select out and pick and choose what you actually want to be shown when it comes to what's available in the custom game browser. And obviously the create one, it lets you host a custom game browser that you can create right uh, right then and there for people to join in and have some fun. Now, I think this is kind of a interesting take of how you want to actually go about doing these filters. I would think you would want to have like the filter and browse as like, one in the same menu kind of thing where basically you can click on browse which would get you to the page where you can set up all your filters and stuff like that and then hit okay to then bring up the you know custom game browser uh, server browser or whatever you want to call it uh, to actually go in and like look through the stuff that you want to check out though this does look very promising though it has it pretty clean pretty straightforward you get this like you know number of players game types and also your different games, but also very importantly, you get the filter by title as obviously uh, it'd be kind of tricky to search for, as I say, you want just fat kit or some different kind of form of a specific infection mode, say like Jenga or something like that. It's not exactly like a game type for that besides like free for all. And so it'd be very important for 343 to implement that uh, title searching, which it looks like that's what they're gonna be doing with this. You can also see in this other screenshot what the browser will look like once you do your filters, stuff like that. It's pretty straightforward with like the name, title, and everything else you would need to know, especially mail set and ping, which is actually very nice. I don't believe we really get the chance to see that in Halo 5's custom browser. Though the nice thing I do really like about Halo 5's custom browser is the fact you can see like a preview screen screenshot of the game or map that you're playing uh, that would be a really nice addition to see with the MCC obviously it's a different system maybe it's much more difficult to do implement something like that though it gives you that instant visual confirmation like yes that's the mode that I want to play rather than having to rely on hosts to be able to title their games properly you have the proper game types and the proper names for their servers and things like that uh, so it gets, leaves a little bit less of the guesswork for the, the player searching for a match, less work on the host to get the proper settings to get people's eyes to catch their server. It also kind of helps just streamline the whole process. Obviously, it's me just kind of giving my two cents and opinions and stuff like that, though uh, for what we have right now for these mock-ups, it's pretty straightforward and it gets the job done. Another big update coming with this guy, because obviously when it comes to custom game browser, you're going to need to have some custom games to play 
And well, we'll be able to give you a nice little update here on some user generated content as in the stuff you created in Forge and stuff like that. As we had previously, there was a bit of a migration from the 360 to your Xbox Ones to be able to bring over those game modes that you've loved all those years ago. But it looks like that's gonna be coming around again in November. Now, this is kind of a complicated process. I just wanna read directly what they say to kind of ease any form of confusion. In order to support this new file share storage, we had to implement a migration Migration plan specific to the Xbox One version of the game. Before the update last year, your private and public file share items in MCC were stored in storage specific to the Xbox platform. Our MCC migration plan was to migrate this Xbox One specific user generated content the first time the user signed into the Xbox One version of the game. On sign-in, we would move private files to the local Xbox One device and public files would be moved to the new cloud storage. However, this means if you have only ever played MCC on PC since the update back in December 2019 when Reach released, you have not had your old Xbox One user-generated content, if any, migrated. If you think you have user-generated content you made on Xbox One version of the game before December 2019 update last year, we are encouraging you to log in once on Xbox One version of the game soon as it will be deprecating this one-time migration process in November of this year. Essentially guys, if you really care about having some file share content available for you, just put it all in your file share on your MCC for the Xbox One, sign in just one time before November and you'll be good to go. So now you're probably thinking, okay, yes, this sounds all great and stuff, but when can we expect this to be in the retail version of the MCC? Well, we also have to keep in mind people that not only is a custom game browser coming in, but it's getting brought in with many other things like per game graphics options and mouse and keyboard support for Xbox. And the quote 343 in this blog update saying, we don't have a definitive day of it coming online just yet, but we are targeting it to join with several other new features at or beyond Halo 4's release onto PC later this year. So it sounds like if 343 can, then you might be able to tie in the custom game browser along with Halo 4's launch. Though of course that means you still have to flight Halo 4 and we're still waiting on the release of ODST on PC. So when can we really expect this? Well, if we can probably assume flighting for Halo 4 will probably start next month in October. Usually it takes about two weeks for a flight and about two, sometimes three weeks after that flight is done, you have the release of the game. So I would not expect this feature to be implemented into the MCC until November. Now keep in mind there are other features looking to be brought into the MCC like input based matchmaking, cross play and many other awesome features like PC file shares and just so many other things planned for 2020 that you know, towards the end of this year, it's gonna be a feature rich, content rich game. It's gonna be a must play for any person who enjoys Halo. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. If you're new to the channel, make sure to tap subscribe. Check out the videos on the screen right over here <laughs> if you've been out of the loop for the last few days or so. And thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.